These are the cars of everyday life. They, they work pretty good and they're reliable and they get you from point A to point B. And then there's this thing. The Ferrari 430 Scuderia Spider 60M was built to celebrate Ferrari's 16th Constructors Trophy in Formula One racing. They took a standard F430, stripped out all the extra weight, added some fun bits like carbon ceramic brakes among other things, which I'll get to, and in typical Ferrari fashion they only made 499 of them. The motor in the 16M is a 4.3 liter V8 that makes about 510 horsepower stock. The motor in this car has been helped out by the addition of a Capristo muffler and catalytic converters. Horsepower is now 550. The transmission is a single clutch automated manual right out of Formula One. This one lap around the Adirondacks is a full lakes tour. We started in Lake George and then headed to Lake Placid, then Saranac Lake, Tupper Lake, Long Lake, and then back to Lake George. Yeah, this footage is sped up. We weren't really going this fast. Pit stop number one, Route 9 in Underwood, in the beginning of a fantastically scenic stretch to Lake Placid. A Porsche 991.2 sails by, the tailpipes and the rear deck air intakes of the giveaway. And now because the cool early fall air is starting to warm up, Time to drop the drop top on the Ferrari. Unlike a lot of these limited edition Ferraris, this car is not being stored in a garage of a collector or a museum. It's being driven. Not a daily driver, mind you, but the owner doesn't fear the miles. And when it's miles like this, well, there's the payoff. We encountered a road repaving crew on Route 73 opposite Marcy Field. It's hard to be stealthy in a red Ferrari. So this is Marcy Field, huh? Marcy Field. Marcy Field International Airport, too. And now I'm ready. Just outside Keene on Route 73, the road picks up some altitude and some twisties. Time to test grip. Arguably, the prettiest stretch of road on Route 73 into Lake Placid runs along upper and lower Cascade Lakes. So I scrambled up a hillside to take in all this natural beauty and, of course, the marvelous silence. And just outside Lake Placid, the ski jump towers built for the 1980 Winter Olympics. They're still in use. Okay. Welcome to Lake Placid. Welcome to Lake Placid. And then sleepy little Lake Placid, never to be the same after our visit. And there's the 
your big arena up there. There's the arena. Yep. Okay. The circus is in town. I'm hungry. We are hungry. So is the car. <laughs> Hello, Skip's in town. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Stay on your own side of the road. For those of you familiar with one of the greatest hockey games ever played, it was here in 1980 at the Herb Brooks Arena where the USA's Miracle on Ice Olympic team won the gold medal. Miracle on Ice, Herb Brooks Arena. Doesn't seem possible it could be that long ago, does it? Yeah. God. Yeah, it was that long ago, and I should know because I was here back in 1980 with my home movie camera. I got to see four of the six games the USA squad played on their way to the gold medal, including some last-minute heroics to tie the game against the Swedes. But guess what? I missed the two biggest games, the one against the Soviets and the other against Finland. I had to watch on TV like most everybody else. The circus is in town. To our usual lunch location. That's a number two, the Algonquin. Turkey, Russian, apples, and bacon. Nice window view here. Shall we hit a mirror lake down the block? Feel like I'm puffing it down there? Okay, why not? I'll get in the front Yeah. It's only, it's only 230. Mirror Lake. Although some might say, or is this Placid Lake? Yeah, where's Lake Placid? It's not here. Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, this is Mirror. It's the weirdest thing. Where's the lake? What's the lake in town down Lake Placid? Grandma. Loading a truck. driver swap. It's my turn. Now you get to screw all the oh you get to screw the mirrors and the and the seat and everything all up now. Yep. Lucky lucky me. Do you trust me? Uh, hardly. <laughs> I just want to just sit and relax and watch the scenery go by for a while. I was doing that. Just outside of Tupper Lake. Looky here, I didn't break the thing. And as promised, yet another Porsche Cameo. This one is the 991.1, a Carrera S. You can tell by the exhaust pipes, and no rear fender vents like on the 991.2 version. Clearly these guys had the same idea, touring the Adirondacks in a car built for these kinds of roads and vistas. Ah. Route 30. While we're on the subject of Porsches, it's time now for a comparison, which of course is treacherous territory. Two different cars, two different price tags, and two different build philosophies. But comparisons are still interesting. The Ferrari weighs in at about 3,300 pounds, and this 2013 Carrera S Cabriolet is about 3,120 pounds. The Ferrari, though, has an extra 150 horses. The bottom line, the Ferrari is a bit faster and quicker and much louder. An intense street-legal race car. The Porsche is smoother, quieter, though not that quiet, and more refined, but still very quick. Two different creatures. The point is, Ferraris don't spend their lives meeting Porsches at street lights, and vice versa. If someone offered you either car for free, or the chance to drive them once, you'd be nuts to turn them down. 
Okay, we're going no place fast now. No place fast now. And the worst thing is this log truck has a, a radar emitter on it, so it kind of scared us a couple of times. See, no, it's if you get my drift. Newcomb. Fuck. Where's the school? Oh, right here. Oh, there it is. Beautiful downtown Newcomb. Downtown Newcomb. Uh, the view to the north of the high peaks, which we'll high peak in a moment. Algonquin is close to. Uh... So there's a little guide, a little, little notchy thing. You can Algonquin. see the mountains off in the distance. J is Algonquin. Okay, J. So that's Santa Noni, and it's 4,600 feet tall, which doesn't sound like much in my Western standards. Circus is in town. See, this is all the intake stuff here. The engine sits way down here. That's the top of the engine right there. The rest of the, that's the cam cover. That's the top of the cam cover. So the engine sits very low and very far forward. You know when you take your car in to have rotors and pads done, it's a few hundred dollars? And this car is $30,000. $30,000? Yeah, rotors are $7,000 a pop. For all four? No, that's each. Oh. $7,000 a piece oh, for those seven. rotors. So four rotors and four sets and four sets and four sets of pads is thirty grand. And that's just, and that's not having them put on, or is that? So we're on uh, Route 28N between um, Newcomb and North Creek. This is the Aden Lair Lodge, abandoned and for sale. Teddy Roosevelt stopped here 116 years ago on his way to becoming president after McKinley was assassinated in Buffalo. They got their own little private pond here. I think I see a beaver dam over there. The old carriage house for the place across the street. Well, here comes a car. So here's an old 1890 Davu or Davui television set from the 1890s, maybe maybe 1890s, 1890s, 1900. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, 1900s. It pitched out the window, and it's it's a almost an antique because it's an old glass-bodied TV an from, from 100 years ago. It's unbelievable. <laughs> the old and the new. 130, 188 acres. No, 88 acres. 88 acres. But I have a feeling the house is uh, toast. Oh, of course. There's no, there's, this is it's structurally unrecoverable. It is unrecoverable. It's just there's too much damage. Well, back here in the barn, there's a decrepit old bowling game. It's big and substantial, but trashed. Somebody should sell it, at least for the shape. That is probably not that old of a chair. However, the newspapers on the wall look pretty ancient. Yeah, and here's a, a clue as to how old this newspaper is. 1927 was the best year of something. So we got about a 90-year-old newspaper all glued up on the wall. Some decrepit stove and a lot of obsolete road flares. Totally unhandy stuff. Yeah. Well, I hope something weird isn't going on with your. I can hear it still rattling back there. Well, there we go. Here we are, Focus, sir. Okay. And there you, there you go. 2009 Ferrari Scuderia 16 M. And there you have it. One lap around the Adirondacks. Okay, we survived. Not a bad way to spend a day. Not a bad way to spend a day. Yep.